Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. It's not the new save file actually, it's the modded character showcase. I'm just so used to saying the new save file that it's become second nature. But anyways, people have been asking me to play it. Wait, are we on the right save file? I don't remember. Okay, we're on a two streak on both, so it doesn't matter actually. Um, People have been asking me to do a showcase of Samuel. 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 So I'm going to do that. Him and his tainted versions, we're going to add them into the roster. I'm going to have multiple modded characters on the go at once. Um... No, I'll get them myself. There you go. Um, yeah, we do. We, do, we are going to try and have multiple modded characters on the go at once. Probably no more than four, I'd say. I think four would be the limit. Otherwise, we're never going to complete any of their completion marks. Um, but I think that makes sense. And at the minute, we've got Abel and Adam. Um, and then we'll have Samael and maybe Tainted Samael or something like that. Uh, Brown Nugget's actually not that bad. Oh, one of my headphones is like... Feels like it's not on. Anyways, Brown Nugget is... It's fine. It's it's not great, but um, on long boss fights, it can be of some use. But of course, we do like the good old scythe wielding guy. Um, we've we've show, we've seen him plenty of times on the regular series, but giving him more of a showcase, doing more episodes as him is always fun. Um, he's just one of those characters that like. I mean, melee characters in Isaac are just fun in general. But this guy still has so many potential synergies that we're yet to see. Um, there's there's like. Five or six pretty big uh, bespoke synergies made for this guy that we still haven't seen. We've seen a few of them. We've seen like technology. I think we've seen brimstone. Um, but there's still a few that were that were yet to yet to come across. So. Okay, good. We can brown nugget all over the place and get some extra shots off on him. Now, brown nugget. The one thing it is good about it is the shots that they fire are actually the same damage as your own shots. So, in terms of damage, it, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Now, I'm going to just do a, a really, really big gamble here. And I'm going to leave that there in the minutest of chances. The smallest of chances that I Secret Room holds a spin down dice. Now, I don't actually know where Secret Room would be, let's be honest. Because um, it's, not, it's not to the right here because we've got a block off there. It could be here. It could be ne above the sack room as well, here, or it could be in the crook of below the boss room. So I'll check that out first and see if that's viable. Currently it is viable, and in this room, not viable. Okay, so we've, we've only got two locations I could feasibly see it being in. Um, and I'm just going to have to check both because th th there's equal chance that it's either. I think it's more likely to be above than below. Um, so we'll check above first. But there you go. Unfortunately, we did not get the spin down dice. I was just like, Do you know, you never, never know if you're going to get a spin down dice or a spin down shard in your secret room. And if you get consolation prize or if you get toothpicks, I feel like you have to take the time to check. Just in case, because um, the Consolation Prize spins down into Revelations, which honestly isn't as good with a character that we don't charge up as much. But overall, Flight, two Soul Hearts, and then the Beam, if we want to use it, pretty good. Um, I feel like it's worth doing your due diligence in that scenario, just in case. And the amount of times that I'll actually end up doing it is probably low, because I'll forget next time. But this time, I did remember, and therefore, we, uh, we gave it a go, but... Didn't pan out. I mean, the, the 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 chances were pretty minute. Honestly, there was a higher chance of getting a spin down shard than there was obviously of getting the item spin down dice. But hey ho, um, we get lard here, which uh, I'm not particularly happy with. But the HP is nice. Um, it means that the viability of devil deals have just gone up. If we uh, get a devil deal on this floor, uh, we can actually go and take a look at it. And honestly, like, on a character where damage feels quite important, I think going for um, going for the devil deal makes all the sense. Secret room is almost certainly going to be above us here. Leave those guys to do their own thing. There you go. Pill, I'll take it. Hey, it's a health up as well. Unfortunately, we can't take that without taking some damage, which is a bit annoying. Because um, I do kind of need the keys. Do you know what? I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it for two keys. Half a heart of damage. There's probably a multiple ways I could have avoided that. In, in fact... Thinking about it, Malik Mott might have avoided that damage. I don't actually know for sure, but it would have been worth a try. I probably should have uh, attempted that. 
before just giving in to taking damage. I kind of, I forget that Malak Mot's like a thing that you can use outside of just combat. I tend to just only use it for combat for that extra damage boost. I would say damage boost, DPS boost more like. And then we get Hermit card, which, yeah, do you know what? I'll use it, it'll save us a key. And we did get Red Stew. Um, we've got this guy here, which is going to give us that. And then we're one penny off Red Stew. And we can actually potentially get said penny from a few different sources. Main one being the, um, the goober that lies in the secret room who has nickels in his eyes also. There is also a curse penny in there, but that could also give us, um, money down rather than money up. So don't want to take the risk. There you go. And now Red Stew. With our lower speed, it's not going to be the most advantageous thing, but for this boss and a few others, it is going to be pretty darn sexy. Um, I reckon we're going to see quite a bit of uh, carnage off of the back of this. Especially considering, like I said, Brown Nugget actually uses this. Ooh, there's been an update to... Um, my god. There's been an update to... What's it called? Okay, let's just check here. Johnny's Knife's throwable gain two homing flying knife familiars that do damage on contact when killing enemies with a knife. Spawn a pool of red... Creep that damages enemies. The size of the creep is dependent on the enemy's mass. Then, um, what does that say? When enemy is killed by knives, gain tears up for the rest of the room. I will take both of these, I think. Looks good to me. Right, we continue on. Um, I like Johnny's knives. is interesting. Johnny's a really powerful character in, um, in Four Souls, so it's cool to see his items returned into the game. Oh, okay, so they're not fired by me. They just kind of... Oh, I see. They only fire when I hold down, which is a little unfortunate because I don't hold down very often. But I've got to, like, hold as I tap. I think that's the best way to, to go about this. Yeah, there you go. That works. If I hold as I tap, just a little bit, it seems to work out quite well. Doesn't need to be a lot. Not bad, not bad. Now, we will be able to keep our damage from Red Stew a little bit by just... Getting kills. It doesn't make it perfect. Ooh, extra soul heart there. Considering the amount of HP we just traded away, I'm very happy to see that. Dude, yeah, I, I like these. I like these a lot. I like these a lot and a lot. They seem very, very strong and very much my style. I like that quite a bit. Strength is fine and dandy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of a lot of stuff off of these knives. I do see that tinted rock there. Do not worry. Do not fret. I am aware. I am awake. We have no eyes right now, which is pretty poetic. I don't know why. It just is. Dude, yeah, they, they do good damage. I'm not seeing this pool of blood that it was talking about when it gets kills, and it's, I'm, I swear it's definitely got a few kills so far. So maybe the pool of blood isn't implemented yet or something, or maybe it just means like a a pool of regular blood and not creep. Oh no, there's some. There's some creep. Apparently we were doing it wrong before, I guess. Good, good. We've not seen item room yet. I'll probably have to go back for that because this is probably the way to the boss. Thank you for that. I will check out this because we're one penny off. Um, unfortunately, not anything great. Minecrafters, not Minecrafter, what's it called? Notched Axe. Is it Notched Axe? I'm going to remember. It's actually pretty decent. I kind of do want it. But I'm not going to go out my way to get it. More of these geezers. Interesting enemies. They're, they're like one of those enemies that I feel like they're pretty cool, but they're not very thematic. They don't really make a lot of sense for the game and they don't really fit into the game very well. But they're a cool design of an enemy, both in terms of style and actually how they work. They just don't really fit into the theme of the game, in my opinion, very well. But that's not always something that's super important. I mean, Fiendfolio has some of those. Yeah, you can see that we're getting a lot of Fiendfolio bosses in our boss rooms, which typically we wouldn't get because normally I write them out because I don't particularly like fighting them in boss rooms. But um, they're here now. Cool. We get divorce papers. That's pretty good. And we've got to go back for our item room, which is unfortunately quite a big waste of time in terms of our, um, in terms of our red stew, but... The item could be really good, you never know. We can't really just walk away. Good. I mean, Sack Dagger, 
It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, we are a very knife-heavy setup right now. We've got Sack Dagger, a Scythe, and um, two knives that fly at enemies. I mean, if we can get Mum's knife on top of this, then really, we're, we're going all out. We're going the whole nine yards at that point. Right. Anyway, so the next floor. Feeling good about where we're at. We didn't lose too much damage from our uh, from our red stew yet, but we're, we're we're nearing we're nearing zero. I think our base damage is like four or something. I can't remember exactly what it is. But yeah, I just can't spam fire. Um, let's check in here. Nothing much in there. Do you know what? I will um we'll play this just to get our penny back. Oh wait, actually, actually. There you go. Get a little bit extra out of that, why not? Again, I'm wasting time with um, with Red Stew, but you, you you can't really, like, rely on Red Stew forever, so I'm not going to try. Oh, those knives are beautiful. And dude, the health. The health right now is exquisite. There you go, the knives did all my work for me there. The fact that they do damage on the way there and on the way back is very nice, too. Um, that's, isn't that a race one random enemy per room? Yeah, I think it is. I don't know what I erased there, but it gone now. Um, technically not very useful for us, but I guess I'll take anyways for the shot speed. Oh wait, it is a fire rate increase as well. Also take a teddy heart. I do like the teddy hearts. Yeah, look at that, it's just... Swimming around the room, doing good damage to everything. It's beautiful. Yeah, we're going to get dips on occasion now. Don't know what I'm going to use my strength card for, my reverse strength. I've not really given it much thought so far. Don't think it particularly matters too much for us. We do want to find our shop this floor as well. There you go. Oh, bad hit. But, dude, the health. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... I'm going to take Chaos after Devil Deal, just in case we do get a Devil Deal. Just doesn't make a, a right lot of sense to take it now. Um, just because, yeah, obviously, potentially, Devil Deal items are going to be better than whatever else it would give us with Chaos. But I realise that does mean we sacrifice a, a potential boss item being rerolled. But then we've got Chaos for future flaws, and that's more than good enough for us. Okay, the knives kind of did their own thing there. I was really hoping they'd go for this enemy directly in front of me, but they didn't particularly feel like it. You get. Ow, I didn't realize you were going to pop into shots. Ooh, Rotten Beggar, hello. Only just unlocked Rotten Beggars recently. Can't remember what this does, but I'll pop it. Don't think it did anything to help us. Okay, that is creep. I wasn't sure. It's not flashing, so... Okay, I've taken a lot more damage than I would have hoped here, especially losing our burn heart. It's not good. I think it's just because I'm melee and I'm trying to play it a bit uncautiously. Um, Apollyon's crown is pretty good. I will take Apollyon's crown. I think that helps. Health is now very low, but let's let's go and grab ourselves a little bit of chaos and see how that uh, how that mixes up the run. I think it's early enough for chaos to have quite the impact. Chaos is, is definitely one of my favourite items in the game. It can be so good or so bad, and you never really know what you're gonna get. We'll buy the soul heart as well. Cool. Okay, chaos. Do your magic and give me Mega Blast on the next item room. That's... I, I humbly ask for just Mega Blast. Nothing else. Only a small ask. Nah, no. Nah, Mum's knife is what we want. Mum's knife is what we're really, really driving towards with this run. It's just thematic. Ugh. Luckily we can hit these guys still. This room is utterly gross. Oh, I didn't realize those, guys, those key guys could actually hit you when they fly into you. It's the fact that, like, if the other enemies die, he should just die. There's no reason for him to still be alive. This is just a waste of my time. 
but he's gone now. Ooh, hello. We erased uh, those little fellas, apparently. Safety scissors can be good. Basically unlimited bombs if you find a bomb beggar. Scythe v Scythe. Who will win? It's of course me. Good, good. Making good roads. Our first chaos item here. Let's see what we end up getting. We need to use Malak Mot a lot more. I'm kind of wasting it at the moment. We get dun 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 dun, Bandage Binder, which is some damage up and some range up. The range is actually pretty good uh, as this character, so I don't mind that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Good. I'm just going to run straight through here. I would like to check my shop, even though I've not got a lot of money, just in case there's something really good and I can do the extra bit of the floor to try and find that money. But if I'm not going to come across it, I don't come across it. Ah, what the... What the hell is even that? It's not too bad, actually. It just it just looks very overwhelming, but really not too bad. Stars. I think I'd rather take the stars right now. Do you know what? Let's at least pop the strength in the boss fight, shall we? Sadly, no randomization on that. Or this. Oh wait, no. That did... Do you know what? That's probably better than Brown Nugget at this point anyways. And we'll go and get our stars card and just pop it straight away on the next floor. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna back trip all the way to try and find my item room, one, uh, my shop when I don't have the money to even buy anything, and I'm not super likely to get it, so it's, it doesn't seem super worthwhile. In here we get grabber. Grabber is not great. He can be very, very annoying. Shopping, not shop, uh, thingy. Mm, hello. Not bad. Not bad. And then I don't know what this is. Oh, there's a kicker bomb in there. I forgot about that. What are you? Flash frozen bombs. Devil disc. Oh, some discs in there. Oh, what the hell? If you have GMO corn, you get a goddamn corn scythe. That's new to me. I like the corn scythe. Bugger off. I like the corn scythe very much, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get rid of that. Get rid of all of that. That didn't work out. In my way whatsoever, really. I'm gonna lose the corn scythe, that's so sad. Easy. Ah ha the bomb got you as well, lovely. I don't know why our trinket is only. Um, erasing certain enemies. Like, normally it's supposed to erase the first enemy you see on that floor, but it seems to be waiting a few rooms and then erasing someone. I think, at least. Oh, really? You're gonna make me go all the way around? Gigabomb, did you have to make this happen? Why you gotta make me cry, Gigabomb? We do have one Gigabomb left, which we'll uh, try and use for the boss, if I remember, but knowing me, I won't. Right, let's keep moving along. You know what, easy enough usage of that there. Didn't realize there's more enemies in this room, otherwise I tried a little bit harder to get them. Would have tried a little bit harder. There's some chests in here that we can probably reach. 
Good old golden penny. Why not? There's one down here as well. Golden penny and golden bomb. Sadly, I don't think golden gigabombs are a thing. As much as I'd love them if they were. That would be absolutely splendid, but I don't think it's going to happen. We do have enough for shop, and sadly, the game threw its chances away at making me happy for once in my life. Could have been some really cool, really cool chaos stuff in there. And the game said, no, no, no. How about we give you nothing instead? Even trade. Oh no, my little ghost died. What am I ever going to do without him? Oh yeah, get HP. Good, good. I think I think I build those. It's pretty good. I've not tried using our uh, frozen bombs yet. Or not seen how they work. At least I've technically tried them. Sadly, my little dude doesn't seem to adopt my bomb. Uh... Item. Which is a darn shame. I didn't mean to bloody use that there. Soul heart, lovely. Um, then I guess the negative for the damage, because our damage isn't great. You have Solemn. The angel one's like okay, but. Piercing Tears doesn't do a lot for us. Shot speed is kind of... Mm, it's a lot of boss rushing for this. But, I don't know, we, we, we want to be doing boss rush anyways, so why not? We get the, uh, the angel power every six seconds, I guess. I don't know why you're not really taking damage, my good guy. I am glad I have this. This is going to kill a few bosses near instantly. Not all of them, obviously, but every now and again. We do also have golden bombs too with this flash bomb thing going on. I don't know what the deal is with that, but... It just seems to be killing enemies. I mean... Okay, it just does a fuck ton of damage, is what it is what it seems like. It does double damage to bosses. Like, that genuinely just seems what the flash thing does. Which means it's a real shame that our um, little buddy doesn't copy it. Yeah, look at that damage. A lot of brimstoning to be done. Good, good, got you. The the nearly a two hit on that guy. Uh, Off-screen indicator is not working with this thing. is slightly sad. Oh wait, I think it also hits everything in the room. Right. Just watch the boss's health once he's ready. Eh, maybe not. Near one hit on that guy. I've taken a lot of stupid damage here, but I don't think it's too bad. I 
Okay, we got Forgotten here. Is this Forgotten? I don't remember the boss's names now. They're all they're all just muddled together. Come on now. Bitch boy. Good old kingpin. Let's just play this the best I can, unfortunately. There's not really much I can do to, to beat this guy efficiently. He's an absolute biatch. An absolute mess as he, he is. I like the scythe for like pushing the bombs towards enemies. That's feels really good. Watch out. Boom. Right, push. Ah, they didn't quite hit. Oh, they definitely are taking some damage, like, for being near it. It's a very small amount by the looks of it, but... Hey, we did it, and we got Sharp Cursor as well, which ain't bad. Unfortunately, our damage isn't very good, so it's not the best, but... Okay, pretty successful boss rush there, I'd say. We uh, we got a good couple of marks completed. I like that. I like that. Luckily, Clicker works pretty well with this character, because it's a tap-to-fire sort of character. We're getting a little bit of extra damage here and there. Ooh, little black heart. What a nice little treat. We've got a corrupted battery on us that we need to draw. I would like my trinket back, please, though. I didn't use Malak Mott, like, at all during that boss fight, during that boss rush. I mean, I didn't really need to, to be fair. I had a pretty decent setup going on there. It would be rather nice to, um, to do Hush. Just one for the mark, but two, the amount of... Um, the amount of chaos items in there could be pretty lucrative. Ow. Very bad hit there. My bad. I'm trying to use my space bar quite a lot as well because it's one of those space bars that I feel like I try to save for the boss, but realistically, it's it's good, but it's not strong enough to have to save for the boss. It's, it's actually much better at just quickly clearing rooms. I'm trying to use it whenever I can. Goddamn. Little grabber keeps scaring the hell out of me. Why you gotta be like that, dude? Why you gotta be a little goober? Lovely stuff. Yeah, the angel powers, it's like, eh, they're fine. I thought I thought angel wings gave you flight, though. Like, angel feathers, whatever it's called. I thought it gave you flight, but it doesn't seem to. Which is kind of strange. But I guess it's one of those items where it'd be a bit too strong if it gave you flight as well. Twenty bombs as well. Considering how good those bombs are, I'm glad we have quite a lot. Ah, oh, we got this bugger. I, I'm, I'm really not a fan of this boss at all. He's cool, like he's cinematic and stuff, but gameplay-wise, he's just he's not it. Halo is pretty good. Yeah, he's, he's one of those bosses that I think he's, like, design-wise, really, really cool. But actually, gameplay-wise, it's just, nah. Not very fun. Right. Luckily, we got some red, hit, red Heart HP now off of uh, Halo there, which is good stuff. Want my bombs back, please? Good, good. Where art thou, mother? Where art thou, mum heart? Mm. 
beautiful. That, that's what it's useful for. Just sweeping her. I mean, to be fair, we're sweeping mushrooms right now. With a combination of our little bomb dude and angel powers and everything else we've got going on. Feel, feel like we're doing a mighty fine job. Yeah, they're amazing, those bombs. I, I wish I knew the exact description of what they did. Because um, I'd, I'd, I'd love to know exactly how they work. Or if there's anything that I'm missing. Because the, the, the very plausibly could be something I'm missing. Right. We've got to be close to the boss. Arcade. Unfortunately, not all the good there for us. Tempted to take the bomb guy, uh, like play the bomb guy, but I'd have to give up my precious, precious bombs to do that. I want another bomb upgrade because it'd be go really well with what we've got. But to get that, I'd have to lose a certain amount of bombs or maybe all of my bombs, and I'd rather not. Okay, boss time it is. I don't know why that fired down when I used Malik Mot there. Obviously not what I wanted you to do. Ah, I got into second phase a little earlier than I was hoping there. Still find this phase very difficult to not get hit on, but we do our best. We're going into Hush with not very good HP here and a melee character, so... Not, su not, su not super confident. But we're going to give it a go nonetheless and see if we can get it done. That's very nice. <laughs> that helps a lot. I guess Empty Heart is better than nothing. That's pretty good too. Evil up plus all stats down. I don't know what evil up means, and I'd really rather not take an all stats down, so that's not really great. Right. At least we got quite a lot of extra damage there. We basically doubled our damage. Oh, we've got Scythe circling around us now from Immaculate Heart as well, which is kind of nice. Good thing as well, it ups our clicker damage. Which we, of course, quite like. Good. First phase went pretty smoothly here. Now the good thing... Is that we can use our uh, bombs here to do a good amount of damage. There's a noise that, that's really distracting here and I'm not sure what it is. There's definitely something in-game happening. I'm not entirely sure what though. I'm like an Immaculate Heart doing all the uh, extra stuff there. Yeah, bombs break through boss DPS cap or like boss damage armor, so we're getting a good amount out of that. Yeah, stay out my way. This is actually a pretty quick kill thus far. It is going well. Ah, a bit preemptive on that bomb there, apparently. Thought it was going to pop up a little earlier than that. The bomb seems to be getting slightly stuck on my Immaculate Heart circular spinning shots every now and again, which isn't great. I am able to, like, swoop it over. Malak Mott's charging so quickly as well that we're able to pump out some real good DPS here. But he always likes to go underground. Beautiful. Yeah, this is textbook. This amazing. Absolutely destroyed him. It's what I like to see, baby. I think I got him with that bomb there. I'm not entirely sure. We are nearly out of bombs, unfortunately. 
I'm probably not use any more for the rest of the fight, to be honest. I want to save some for the other bosses that are a bit easier to kill. Oh, yes. Having invincibility for this is very, very nice. And he is done. Lovely. Now we're on our way down. See what other marks we can get. Yeah. With the amount of damage we've got now, I'm pretty happy with uh, with where things sit. We can kind of earn. Unfortunately, still have to deal with this guy, which I despise, but we can get him. Wasn't actually too bad. Would like to bolster my HP a little bit here. Nice. Yeah, bosses without any uh, without any boss armor get relatively quickly destroyed by us. I'm guessing um, the devil, Satan himself, will uh, will be equally as destroyed. Which is very nice to think about. Good, good. Very easy. Oh, there's a bomb back there. I should go grab that. Get up there. Which produced so many of these flying uh, flying shots. It's really nice. I didn't think it would produce them if you weren't actually firing them, but the fact that it does is real nice. It's a lot of extra damage. When you clear a full room with a Krampus's head. God, remember back in the day when Rebirth first came out and Krampus's head was absolutely stupid OP? Back in the day. My god. It was literally like, if you were going Devil Deal, which you always did because Angel Deals were crap, you'd eventually get Krampus's head if you were lucky and didn't get Lump of Coal. And it just, it was always the active you took. Every single time. Which is why I think it was nerfed, because it was just too, it was so reliable to get and you used it like every run because it was so good. Also, did they get rid of the diagonal on Krampus's head? Because I've not seen it fire diagonal once yet. Stay still. Ah, I've been hit too many times here. This isn't good. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh my god, thank you Gimpy for saving me a little bit here. Oh god, so these chests are likely to be pretty crap. We'll have to see what we get. Guarantee one of them's a HP up. No. Interesting. On use, 12 soul hearts. Take damage every 30 seconds, every 60 seconds. Hmm. It's very risky. I think I'm going to take it just to hold, and then if things get dire, we, we use it. Yeah, if things get really dire, we, we pop it. Hello, good sir. Come to kill all your spiders and yourself. My bomb's lovely. Oh, it's our sights disappearing. That, that's that noise that I was hearing before. Weird noise. Weird noise. Yeah, if we take one or two hits of damage, we'll pop our active. Those. That bomb didn't go anywhere near where I wanted it to go. Nice. We got that done. Right, we need to go back and search a little bit more here. 
There is more for us to do yet. We can get an additional completion mark here via one of the mods I have enabled. Burn heart there, lovely. Uh, we should probably go and fill this burn heart. Oh, there you go. I need to fill it with a half heart, it doesn't matter. I pass that on these floors. Takes the same damage nonetheless. More bombs, lovely. More bombs? Oh god, the game has been generous. Here we go. We lost... I don't know what we lost there. We lost something else there too. I don't know why items we lost, but we're going down. Uh, we sacrificed two items to get to the void. We didn't lose Cricket's head. We didn't lose Angel. We didn't lose Immaculate. I think we've, we've kept all of our top tier items so far, at least. That was a, a good hit, good sir. Keeping this burn heart alive is pretty important right now. We'll try our best to do that. Hopefully, as long as we can half fill it every time. And then yeah, we've got this we've got this pumpkin head thing as like a real proper backup solution. Really, straight into the boss. Not what I was expecting, but not particularly that bad either. Unfortunately, right now it's a bit hard to get to. We'll try and use bombs when I can, but it's not going to be super, super viable. I think with our space bar item that we've got right now, this is good. Oh, also a random devil card. I will take that. 3.66 damage. Do you know what? Just pop it now. Just remember... Every minute we're in here, which should only be like maybe two minutes, we're going to take damage. As long as we can charge Malak Mott fairly quickly, we're not at too much danger. I mean, we've, we've almost killed him already, to be fair. The, the transformations he's making right now are not exactly the smartest. Okay, just because we can take a lot of damage doesn't mean we should. Ow. Oh my god, I'm taking way too much damage right now. It shouldn't matter, but still, it's stupid. Malak Mott doing well there. Come on, you're so close to dead, my guy. Is he really going to need this palava? Good bomb there. There you go, we got him. Not bad at all. Very quick and speedy kill. Very interesting little synergy you've got going on there. I really like the Johnny's Knives as well. That was really good. Oh, wait. Is he not dead? Oh, no, there you go. Okay, so I hope you guys did enjoy. It was a fun one. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.